Welcome back to Better Than Yourself. Today on Better Than Yourself, cold brew coffee. I've been trying for weeks to try to figure out how to make cold brew. You know, there's a bunch of videos on here and everyone says, oh, just, you know, mix together four parts to one part of uh, water to coffee, stick it in the fridge, and, you know, 24 hours later you can pour it off, filter it, and you'll have some delicious cold brew. And I'm just having the worst time with it. Everything I do doesn't work. I tried filtering it through a paper towel, and I tried filtering it through a coffee filter into a little funnel back into my jar, and it just seems like the, the cold brew just really gets into this brown, muddy clump, and I can't, it takes like, you know, 45 days to, to filter out my cold brew, and it's just not working for me. I, I thought cold brew was supposed to be delicious and fast, and you make, put it in the fridge, and it just works. I found the solution. This thing is awesome. It's a cold brew kit I found on Amazon. They're, they're pretty inexpensive. Hit the link down below and you can grab one yourself. Highly recommended. The uh, Klein cold brew kit. This thing's awesome. You basically, you get, in the cold brew kit, it's really not a lot. You get, you know, a little instruction card. They get uh, a little coffee scooper. Uh, silicone gasket. And this. This thing is the bomb. And it's just this very, very fine uh, stainless steel mesh built into a little cylinder that and this is just the easiest thing you literally can take this the stainless steel strainer grab a jar I'm gonna make this is a pint and a half jar so I figured out that I like about that size jar whatever kind of coffee you want this is just a standard you know automatic drip coffee kind of a of a grind I'm gonna do a half a cup of coffee Fill up my jar with water. And the coffee will float up. Just give it a little bit of a stir and get the, the coffee wetted down in there. Top up your jar. Again, you probably it's gonna float up, so just stir it down, not a problem. Throw on the top and into the fridge overnight. So, you know, I'll set this up the, the night before, you know, getting ready for work tomorrow morning. And um, this is ready to go in the fridge. And then the next morning, just grab your, your cold brew out of the fridge, grab another jar, pop the top off, and look how simple this is. You can literally just pull the, the, the Klein filter right out of your cold brew here. Let it Drain in another jar, and you've got a, a you know a half pint of delicious cold brew. You can go ahead and heat this up in the microwave, or just drink it cold. Here, uh, for a super simple iced coffee, grab your favorite uh, tumbler, halfway up with ice. Grab your cold brew, and look at that. There's like zero sediment in the bottom there, and you're ready. This delicious cold brew. You can add some milk to this. You know I don't drink milk. I take everything black, but um, maybe a little bit of sugar, you don't really need it. A little bit of milk, you don't really need it. I like it like this. You can make it like you like it. Cheers. This is awesome. I wish I had found this sooner. Again, the uh, Klein Cold Brew Kit, Amazon. Hit the link below, grab one of these. This is the bomb. Buy one. Enjoy your cold brew, you guys. Take care.